Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video on my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Jordan, so happy you joined us. And I am a professional figure skater currently working and living on a cruise ship. I've been a professional figure skater for almost five years now and I have been lucky enough to perform for thousands and thousands of people, which has been the most fulfilling job ever. I love it so much and I am grateful every single day, but a huge part of this lifestyle is working alongside other very talented cast members and these cast members become your family because you are not only working with them in Studio B but also you are living directly around them all the time. Because we are in such small quarters on the cruise ship, we really are spending a lot of time together and we get to know each other really, really well. So today I wanted to give them the floor and let them kind of share a little bit about themselves because you guys always see them in my vlogs, but I just wanted to kind of give them some time to share a little about them. I have filmed this video before in previous contracts and it's always really fun to interview my castmates so I wanted to do it again for you. This particular cast is different because we had a few extenders and then we have some newer cast if you will. So a few of our team extended for about a month, some of them extended three months, and so on and so forth. So this interview includes more than the 10 that we currently have. I did also include interviews from um, some of my cast from when I arrived back in August. So if you're wondering why there's such a big cast, that is why, but our total right now is 10. So we've got three solo girls, three solo boys, and two pair teams, including myself. If you guys want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on my socials. I will have them linked below. I answered these questions before with my previous cast on Wonder, so I'll have that video linked if you want to also see my answers. But we have a lot of questions to get through, so without further ado, let's jump on in. Uh, my name's Graham, and I'm from Canada. <laughs> Hi! Susie, England. Leo, Canada. My name is Taras. I'm from Slovakia, originally born in Ukraine. Hello, I'm Angela. I'm from the US. I'm from Colorado. <laughs> Hi, my name is Toby. I'm from Austria. And Marta from Poland. Hi, friends. I'm Noel. I'm from California. Uh, my name is Taras. I'm from Russia. Hello, I'm Valentina. I'm from Russia. My name is Martin. I'm from Slovakia. I'm Veronique Coutier, and I'm from Canada. The first question I ask everyone, how many years have they been working for the company? Since 2016, like seven, seven up on eight, like starting my eighth year. Well, then a bit. Wow, yes, agreed. I have been with the company for 13 years. I started in 2019, so four years, almost five. Me, since 2019, we have a break for Corona, obviously. I started 2015 with a land production, also by BTEC, and then 2016 on ships. I have done three contracts. Uh, I've been with the company 10 years already, uh, start 2013. Uh, with the company I've been for six years already. This November will be eight years uh, working for Billy BTEC. Five years. You may or may not really be into astrology, but I personally think it's really fun. So I asked everyone next, what is their zodiac sign? I don't know. I was born in February. <laughs> I think I'm a Pisces. Virgo. Do you remember? This one. As a ram. Sure. So that's Capricorn? Yes. Yes, he's Capricorn. Gemini. I'm a Leo. <laughs> Virgo. Aquarius. Uh, my zodiac sign is Capricorn, but I think I'm more like uh, Sagittarius because I'm like right at the end of that, I think. <laughs> I'm a Libra. Uh, I'm the Pisces. I'm a Scorpio. Cancer. Of course, we've all been skating for many, many years, but we did start at different ages. So I asked next, what age did you start skating? Like Canadians start really young, but my mom put me in like figure skating when I was 10. Five? This me. I was five years old. I started when I was five. <laughs> Seven. Four? <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Three or four. Mm, I started skating when I was four and a half years old. I started skating when I was seven. Um, my parents moved from, like my family moved from Kazakhstan to Russia. And my mom brought me to the ice rink. And like that's basically the first time I saw the ice rink I get on ice. Uh, I started when I was four. I was four years old. 
Figure skating, I was 10. Moving on to hobbies, I find that this cast is a very unique cast and very creative cast, so I asked them what are some of their favorite hobbies outside of skating. Skiing, like downhill skiing in the winter. I don't know, going to the gym. I used to play baseball, uh, paddle boarding, yeah, being outside. Video games. Yeah, video games, <laughs> but not a lot, just a little bit. Dogs. I love sports, I love soccer, I like hockey, I like fishing. I like everything. Um, the usual reading, hiking, petting dogs, annoying my fiance. Yeah, you know. I like to watch movies and read books and get some sun. And I like to travel and I like to party. Playing games, more specific computer games, sport games, card games. I like reading educational books. Gym. Me yeah. Too. <laughs> Outside of skating, I like to do anything like artsy, like um, I've been trying to do like procreate on my iPad and stuff like that. Um, I love to do embroidery also, like flowers, and during COVID I was even doing like embroidered masks and like selling them to people. <laughs> I like learn languages, I like travels, uh, lately I like reading, maybe because I get older. <laughs> I like to draw, I like to dance, uh, contemporary dance. Diving, rock climbing, skiing, wakeboarding, yeah, all the uh, adrenaline stuff. I like to read and I like to CrossFit. Next question for everyone, what is your favorite part about this job? Oh, the show, ice skating. Getting to work with him. Yeah. All right, skating is fun. Performing, I like to perform in front of people. I like to be paid by clubs from the audience. It's pretty good, love it. Traveling, meeting new people. Um, I feel like it's a little bit different every week, every day, and you just you get to work with the team and get you uh, just make really special uh, friendships with people. Traveling and performing. I love performing, and I love the fact that I can do purse. That's my main thing. Well, there's nothing to add to that. So. <laughs> Same. See, I'm always right. So my favorite part about this job is definitely like getting to make people in the audience smile when we're performing. I really think like they came to cruising for their vacation and they deserve to relax and enjoy the show and just like enjoy their vacation and make memories that way. Hi, I'm Hi. <laughs> uh, traveling, uh, traveling, seeing new places, like exploring new, new places. Favorite part is to perform in front of the audience and uh, meet new people and uh, travel around the world. Traveling, meeting different people and doing what I love. Uh, performing. Moving on from that, next question is three words to describe yourself. This was a very hard question for most of my cast. I found that this question probably took them the hardest to answer. Like an onion. Gotta I got, peel back the I layers. Got layers. <laughs> Can I describe him and he can describe me? Sure. Uh, yes. Weird, bold, knows everything. Yeah, sometimes blonde, dogs, and cuckoo. <laughs> Competitive, genuine, curious. Indecisive. No, I don't know. You might be indecisive. <laughs> I think I'm indecisive. <laughs> I don't know. I like to think that I'm like funny, <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> generally a very happy person. So. I would say I'm someone who's taking a time to open up so I'm a little bit more introverted. I'm very organized and yeah probably OCD. I have my tics. <laughs> I would say maybe free opposite to Toby so I'm pretty extrovert. I would say I have too much empathy. I am weird like in a lot of stuff. I'm just weird but it's fine. <laughs> I think I am patient goofy and kind <laughs> i think i'm honest uh genuine genuine and i think i'm nice crazy <laughs> restless um sweet tooth <laughs> hard worker passionate and loving or like giving love to people i'm emotional <laughs> disciplined can yeah. i say hard worker 
Yeah? Yeah. I'll say that one. Moving on from the basics, I wanted to get into some favorites. So I was curious what everyone's favorite jump and spin is or trick if they are a pair skater. Triple toe. Outside camel. Um, things where it doesn't involve me having to spin. Things that involve her spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that doesn't involve leaving the boy. Axel. I don't uh, have favorite spins because I don't like them. The bunny hop. <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I would say double axel, but like, also, I'm like kind of mad at my double axel right now, so I don't know. <laughs> oh god, I don't like spins. A butt spin. <laughs> the trotter. Yes, I like the trotter too. Uh, my favorite jump, I think, is double flip. My favorite spin, I spin. <laughs> Axel, any sort of axel, any rotational axel. <laughs> seat spin and variation of seat spins. My favorite jump is salto. Favorite spin is uh, leg up. Pen yeah, top. when I was still jumping, then my favorite jump was uh, toe and flip and lats. And spins, yeah, like a nice combo spin, level four. My favorite jump my favorite is the toe. Page. Next up, what is your favorite? Oh, chips and salsa. Mexican. My mother's roast dinner. Oh, I love Thai, Mexican, Italian. My type of food. I like to try new things a lot. Fruits. I couldn't live without fruits and yogurts. This would be. So I'm Pizza. the opposite to that. As well. I don't like trying new things. <laughs> and my favorite food is probably Wiener Schnitzel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's coffee a meal. <laughs> Girl dinner. <laughs> What's my favorite food? Shit. I guess just coffee. <laughs> Russian food now, like Ukrainian, like borscht, borscht, olivier, like Russian salad or pilmeni, which is like basically dumplings. I love chocolate, I love coffee, <laughs> and uh, bagels. Favorite food, all the food from my grandma, and favorite, I guess, uh, a lamb with some good rice. I'm allergic to everything, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll say chicken. Plain chicken. You guys know how much I love costumes, and the costumes in this show are especially great. They're really fun. I actually really love all of them. So I was interested to hear what everyone's favorite costume in Spirits of the Seasons is. Oh, the winter costume is really pretty. <laughs> Does that have to be mine? No, no, it could be any costume. I like the witch. She's cute. I don't like any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I like my uh, I like my summer uh, solo costume. I like finale. I like the beads. Possibly fall. I like fall costume. I think I like the finale costume most actually. Well, I like costumes that aren't heavy, so probably like the summer costume is really cute. Uh, my solo. I like my solo costume. I think I like summer, but I get a chance only to do it for like three minutes. <laughs> I think like the Fall costume is pretty good. Definitely my winter wonderland one. My hips. Moving on from that, I wanted to focus on travel and more specifically the favorite destination that everyone in my cast has traveled to because you guys know, well, we all love to travel because we are all here working on the cruise ship. Can I do three? Yeah. New Zealand, Japan, and Australia. Australia, New Zealand. That part of the world is really cool. Mm, the South Australia Pacific was fun. was fun. Sweden. Croatia. Yeah, Croatia. Yeah, I love Croatia. San Marino is very pretty. Mm. Thailand or Alaska? Uh, probably Japan. Sydney. Australia. New Zealand. In general, New Zealand. Probably Argostoli, I would say. Like, it was just so beautiful to like see the mountains and like these different types of beaches where the water is still so blue as like Caribbean, but it's Greece. <laughs> I also really liked uh, Malta. That was really, really cool. The city, I really had like European shock there. I was like, wow, people live here. <laughs> anyway. It's like Alaska, Australia, and like overnight in San Francisco. I think it's a Singapore. When I was on Voyager, I really liked it. New Zealand. New Zealand was my favorite. Probably Croatia, but Greece is a close second. And then for my last favorite, what is your favorite artist or musician? Oh, Betty Who. <laughs> yeah, obviously Betty Who. It used to be Michael Jackson when I was a kiddie. And Backstreet Boys. Lots of things from the 90s. 
I don't, I don't know. The shows. Like my playlists are very all over the place. Uh, Imagine Dragons, Paolo Nottini, Queen. Position. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I didn't even finish my <laughs> statement. Lincoln Park. I don't think I have a favorite band or artist. I like no. different style of music. So be music sometimes too. <laughs> I like Mac Miller. I like Ed Sheeran. I like Adele. I like Olivia Rodrigo. Specifically her Sour album. <laughs> So there's like one band I really listen, I listen a lot when I was a kid, it's called Discotheca Cavaria. Another one is called Zinfira, but if like worldwide, I would say Nirvana or like Hot Chili Peppers or like Linkin Park, something, this type of music. Uh, I like Mowgli, actually. She's really nice. I would say Queen, then Eminem, Justin Timberlake, I would say. I can't really say I have a favorite though, because I just, I like basically anything. The last category I have for the cast is sort of random. These questions are really not organized, but they are fun. So the first question is, which skate do you tie first? Left. Right foot. Left, left foot. Uh, right. I write one. Left. Left as well. <laughs> uh, either or. I don't have a preference. Left. <laughs> left. I want to say left but it's not out of like, it just happens that way. Speaking of processes, I wanted to hear everyone's pre-show rituals if they have anything that they do regularly before every single show. Does pooping count? <laughs> oh, I always try to do a handstand, like I'm in trying to be part of the aqua cast. I always go, Ugh! That's kind of a ritual. <laughs> <laughs> the emoji sign for it? <laughs> oh, just playing hacky sack, I guess. Um, I don't have pre-show rituals because I'm not superstitious. I pee <laughs> 15 minutes before the show. Um, yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah. And tie my rice capers. <laughs> I don't really have any. Heck you said. No, maybe pee pee. I need to pee. <laughs> Sometimes I like to like put my headphones on and like make up like a program or a dance in my mind like before the show. <laughs> It's so embarrassing, I told you that. <laughs> like I'll go hide like in the hallway and I'll like dance and it like I do make I know. <laughs> I don't do I don't show anyone. I'll like go and be like secretive about it. I, lately I said like I'm doing notes for you guys. <laughs> That's my ritual. But I don't have like special rituals, like bring my water, put my play my chairs. <laughs> That's my ritual. Not really. <laughs> Free show poop. <laughs> Yeah, just always I just need to warm up and then uh, doing a few breathing exercises right before going on the ice. No pre-show sure rituals. This next question is a really fun one to ask as well. So something that you cannot live without on a contract. And I got a bunch of different answers for this. Probably alcohol. <laughs> him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit stuck him. Coffee. Coffee. I can't live Good if coffee. he doesn't have coffee. Yeah. I cannot live without friends. Duh. The TV show or Real Friends? Actually, both. <laughs> My Nespresso machine, which I definitely don't have on board. <laughs> Shurak. Nintendo Switch. What did and you Kindle. say? Shurak. I said Shurak. Shurak. I was like, what? And then Kindle as well, because I have a lot of books. Mm -hmm. uh, noise canceling headphones, I think. Oh my god, I can't live without shampoo and conditioner, man. Have you seen this? <laughs> Coffee. My blanket. <laughs> sun clock. Yeah, sun clock is very good. I'm using sun clock. Will help me like to wake up really like natural sunlight imitates it. I think that's my favorite. And I can't be without in a dark cabin. My EpiPen. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and then the final question of this little interview is something that we may not know about you. That I'm like actually genuinely happy most of the time. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. People don't need to know it. Like, I'm having a good time. I just look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at juggling. Yeah, he is actually pretty good at juggling. I'm really not good at juggling. So it's yeah. I was a professional dog walker. Yeah. Professional. Professional. Five, six, seven dogs at a time. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am better at tennis than the other two us. <laughs> I 
love dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> if you want a weird fun fact about me, I count stairs. You count stairs? I know. You weird though. I used to teach students on a university. I'm allergic to cinnamon, which makes fall really hard. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm a chemical engineer. I like spent six years in university before I started skating in the shop. Um, I'm an aerial yoga instructor. Do you have anger issues? <laughs> That's a positive one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> last something you want people to know about you. I have anger issues. I am a fully qualified firefighter. That wraps up this little Meet the Cast video for Cast 28 here on the Explorer of the Seas. We are now on Cast 28C. I think C because we have changed people quite a few times. It was really fun to interview them and it's been a lot of fun to share the contract with this cast. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know everyone a little bit more. Thank you to my cast for participating in this video. I just thought this would be a fun little memento to have and I know that not everyone loves being on camera like I do. So really appreciate everyone helping out with this video. As always, if you are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe for more videos I post every single week. And once again, if you want to keep up with me on a more regular basis, I will have my Instagram down below. It's just at jbouth. So thank you once again for watching this video. I love you all to the moon and back. I'm going to go get ready for my show and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. The internet. Hello? Hi. <laughs> I want a second. I want a second take there. Okay. No, not me thinking about. Okay, go. <laughs> huh? He was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, <laughs> "Going against someone's ridiculous." Like, like nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like just like, never mind. Uh, I'm so, I'm so. Well. Wow. He's a handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the guy says I'm handsome. I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> My fun fact is I'm the youngest of the cast. I'm 22. <laughs> I am one. Take number two. Okay, I got two short jokes and a long joke. Ready? Joke, joke, joke. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. If you like this, please sub subscribe. My name is Taras.